this rifle, this type right here, was the first rifle I ever shot, 22. It was one of my father's. And a few years after we, uh, I was able to shoot it, we kept it in the barn. And only one guy knew where it was. And he swiped it. We know he did. Okay, it's a 22 caliber? 22 caliber. And you think it's made in Germany? or? I think it was made in Germany. If somebody could tell us the type of gun this is, we'd appreciate that. Don, how old are you? I'll be, I'll be 90 April 15th. And this was a similar gun to what you had absolutely, when you were a boy? A, a direct, absolute, positively, yeah. So if anybody knows what this gun is or more about it or who made it, we'd be interested to know. Show them how the action works, Pop. The action... You take, put your... 22 in 22, there. Uh, bolt it in there and you pull this back. And you pull that back over the, over the latch. Like so. Okay. Now it's all ready to shoot. Okay. There. Huh. Still in working order. Yep. It looks like it has to be seated a little bit better there, Pop. No, that just popped up after you... Uh, after you shoot, it's ready to yeah, unload again? It's re ready to load again, yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right, well, thank you very that, much. That, did you get that? Well, we'll try and get that on there so people can see that. Yeah. Okay. These are our three-foot green giants. They're in a, a number five squat pot. And these are our four-foot green giants in our squat pot. Now we call these a three to four foot because they'll be over three foot tall to the top, but less than four foot. And these will all measure about four foot to the top or slightly taller on the four-footers. The green giant is placed about five to eight feet apart in straight rows and you can make a staggered row for a large property. For a smaller property you would only want to have one single row. A single row is the easiest way to maintain these trees. And if you're going to put in a large number, say like you know, you're up in northern Pennsylvania and you're going to put in a hundred of them on a large lot, we do recommend that you put in our drip water system which I will show you in a few seconds. But these trees can grow upwards to three feet a year with our drip water system. They're very fast, they're deer resistant, and wind resistant. The wind resistance comes from the fact, and the snow load resistance comes from the fact that the tree can be bent right over to the ground almost, and then it'll snap right back. And predominantly, if they have, if they have a double leader, you do want to trim one leader out, like this would be trimmed down, so that one leader takes forward and, and uh, takes control. But usually they don't split apart in the winter at all. The emerald green does split apart and is a uh, weaker tree that only grows to 10 to 15 feet. These could grow to 40 feet, but if you trim them, you can keep them probably around 25 feet for quite a long time. So give us a call at 215-651-8329. Thank you.